Hey, welcome back to the Wrestle Vlogs, your place for your wrestling news. On Monday, it was announced that Teddy Long will be joining the 2017 class of the WWE Hall of Fame, joining the likes of Kurt Angle and the Rocking World Express. Many already know that Teddy Long was the GM of SmackDown back during the original brand split, as well as the at one point the ECW GM back before he went back to SmackDown. Many, though, don't realize that he was also a referee back in his early days in the WWE, as well as a manager for a number of different WWE superstars, including D'Lo Brown. So congratulations to Teddy, Teddy Long on his um, induction into the WWE Hall of Fame. And we all know that's going to be one hell of a speech, I'm sure, coming from Teddy Long at the Hall of Fame ceremony. Should be entertaining and kind of um, probably hysterical at the same time. I always got a kick out of Teddy Long and the way he just the way he carried himself on the show. You know, I only saw him basically as a manager. I didn't realize until a few years ago that he did anything else besides that. But that takes me on to the next bit. Apparently, it's been reported that John Cena will be taking a long-term hiatus. Who knows how long this will be uh, from the WWE starting shortly after WrestleMania, if not directly after WrestleMania 33. Hopefully he won't be gone long because SmackDown's ratings really seem to suffer when he's not there. I understand that he's got other things to do and he wants to promote the WWE and wants to be in movies and TV and other things and do more stuff to promote the WWE. But at the same time, the brand itself could use him. Um, as much as people don't like the idea that John Cena is burying people, it could be about time for John Cena to stay around for a while. That way we can actually, you know, keep the ratings up and Vince could maybe do more for the fans with more people wanting to watch. Maybe he'd be more willing to do more things to make the fans happy. Who knows? But that said, John Cena has other things he um, wants to do, but I guess he needs to take some time off again. He is up there, you know, getting up there in age. I just wish as a fan that he would stay around a little more often. That way we could just see John Cena. I mean, John Cena is one of the you know best superstars we've had in the WWE in the last 10, 10 or 15 years. And it's really sad to see him you know just up and going. But then again, the same thing was said about The Rock. And look at The Rock. Rock is still doing amazingly well for himself. And he still likes to come back occasionally and you know cheer up the WWE audience, I guess you could say. One last bit of news. Um, on Talking Smack yesterday, General Manager Daniel Bryan announced that since Randy Orton refuses to fight Bray Wyatt at the w WWE WrestleMania event come April, come April 2nd, I believe it is, there'll be a number one contender battle royal for Randy Orton's spot at WrestleMania um, next week on SmackDown. I really was hoping to see Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt. You never know. You could still end up with that. I just don't understand the point in having Bray Wyatt win the title and Randy Orton win the Royal Rumble if you're not going to have Randy Orton versus Bray Wyatt at, the, at WrestleMania. What's the point of the whole storyline at this point? Uh, we all would, would like to know, and I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. But good luck with understanding what the hell's going on with WWE right now. Vince does whatever Vince wants to do, and you all know that, I guess. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of the WrestleVlogs. Please check out my Twitter below in the description, as well as slap a like and subscribe on the video if you enjoy the content. All right, you have a great day.